this turned out perfectly. Nothing but sangria, animal crossing, and an empty apartment. This stuff is amazing. If I ever quit my job, I'd make a fortune with winery. Or maybe I'd become a bootlegger. <laughs> a whole night with the place to myself. Best night ever. <laughs> what the hell was? Oh, it's only you. I almost had a heart attack. I thought for a split second we were getting robbed. Wasn't expecting you back so early. Did you forget your phone? No. Wait, this was the one from that app, right? Oh, so I take it that things didn't go well. Come sit. So what happened? A bad joke? Impromptu marriage proposal? What? She never even showed up? Are you sure she didn't get lost in traffic or something? What excuse did she give you when you called? She blocked you? I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it sounds like you dodged a bullet. Even in my less-than-mature days, if I planned a date and didn't want to go, I'd tell them myself. What kind of jerk just ghosts someone like that? It's ridiculous. Rumi? Hey, are you alright? I'm sorry. Maybe it's a little too soon for me to be bad-mouthing this girl. I'll give you some space and go back to my room. Are you sure? Okay, if you really want me to, then I'll stay. I made sangria. Let me get some for you. Not to keep bashing the girl, but that one time I met her, she seemed kind of flaky to me. I don't know. She just gave off a sketchy vibe. Oh, I'm not a good judge of character? Give me one example. <laughs> You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? One time, one time I had a one-night stand and woke up missing $300. I learned a valuable lesson, though. Never keep that much cash in one place and think with my brain instead of my... Um... Hormones. <laughs> Here, taste this. It's incredible, isn't it? Just okay? I'll let that slide just this once because I know you're having a bad night. Got all dressed up and sexy for nothing. No, I didn't mean it that way. I just... I meant... The hair, the outfit, and everything. It's not every day that I see you like this, is all. So anyway, the point I was trying to make was, dating can sometimes be... complicated. People are complex. You can do everything right, but if the other person doesn't do their part, it won't work. And when that happens, the only thing you can do is get back out there and try again in your own time. I don't know. Maybe that is why I'm single right now. I was out there before, but one day I realized it wasn't fun anymore. You meet someone, go out for a while, break up, and do it all over again. Like running on a hamster wheel. Constantly moving, but getting nowhere. I'm much happier right now with my work, my hobbies, and with you. Um, you know, hanging out. Because you're such a great roommate. You always pay your half of the rent on time. You never leave dishes in the sink or hair in the shower drain. And, most importantly, you always know how to make me laugh. What am I going to do when you move out? 
Well, of course, at some point you'll leave. What? After tonight, you'll never leave? Oh, don't be like that. Tonight was a bust, but eventually, you're going to meet someone and have a whirlwind storybook romance and live happily ever after. And I'll still be here on this couch, drinking the sangria. Yes, of course. You can ask me anything. Yes, and I'll tell you the truth. What is it? When I said you looked sexy, did... did I mean it? Oh, God. I'm digging myself into such a deep hole tonight. Of course I meant it. You're hot. A total catch. Is that what you want to hear? Oh, you meant do I think about you in a romantic way? <sighs> well, I did say I'd be honest. If I tell you this... Do you promise not to think of me as some kind of creep? Okay, then. Here goes. So, remember that time I accidentally walked in on you in the shower? I told you I didn't see anything, but I actually saw way more than I let on. I lied to make it less awkward. I wanted to keep some semblance of privacy between us. Then, for a while after that, all I could think about was you. Fully clothed, though. We get along great, and we have so much fun even when it's just the two of us. So, yes, I have thought about us in that way. What? <laughs> oh, God. Yes. I saw you naked. Is that really the only takeaway you got from my heartfelt confession? I think you've had enough to drink for one night. I'm going to bed now. Why? Because if I stay here with you any longer, I won't have any secrets or dignity left. Besides, you seem positively jovial now. My work here is done. Good night. <sighs> Let go of my arm, please. Why not? <sighs> really? You're going to whisper it to me? Okay, I'll get closer. Now, what do you want? Closer? No, I don't want to get any closer. Because we're impossibly close already. We might as well be kissing. Oh. Is that what this is all about? I confess to you one of my deepest secrets and now you're half drunk and want to kiss? <sighs> you know what? Fine. If it'll get you to stop asking me embarrassing questions and go to bed, then yes, I'll do it. I highly doubt you'll remember much about this tomorrow anyway. <laughs> Close your eyes, you tipsy goofball. All the way closed, please. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. There, you got your kiss. Now go to bed. <laughs> wow, that was completely unexpected. Wait, where are you going? Yes, I wanted to go to bed, but not if you're mad at me. What is it? You're right, that probably wasn't the best choice of words. Obviously, I've been having a lot of difficulty with that tonight. What I meant to say was unexpected in a good way. Unexpected, but not unwanted. Trust me, it was very much wanted. Come back over here. Uh. 
You have no idea how long I've wanted to do that. It's kind of scary, crossing that line. Having so much to gain and so much to lose at the same time. Maybe everything will work out perfectly, and we'll be telling the story at family reunions for the next 50 years. Maybe it won't work out, and I'll be looking for a new roommate this time next year. But what I know right now is, I'm willing to take that chance, no matter what ends up happening. What about you? Oh, for the love of... Did you really fall asleep in my arms? Standing up? I guess it really is time for bed. I'll just put you here, on the couch, and put my arm around you. Then we can wake up together and get breakfast. Ah, <sighs> best night ever.